game of the bugs is rising back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Thank you for the patience with yourself. You know, I know times get hard at times and it feels like you're going two steps 10 step forward but end up taking 20 back you know give yourself that time you'll get there where you truly need to be so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings and love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are uh you know comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos are you know very informative to you or even give you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even if all impact are going through some really trying times right now and you know they're trying to seek peace in their heart as well as their you know their household or even they're trying to find a soul path or even soul mission please go ahead and share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support it's so gratefully appreciated and i hope that you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um let me turn it up a little bit it's a little bit low uh, it's called tibet tibetan sanctuaries positive energy cleanse 432 hertz healing music and i'll post that link in the description box below and my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas even though the mission isn't easy it will definitely be worth it it is it's just like you know you could be going through some stuff you know you're finding out it is just already the spiritual awakening is already enough but when you have to constantly go through kundalini's ascensions uh uh what is it dark night of the soul or you're dealing with a lot of energy shifts you know you're dealing with past emotions past trauma that keeps coming back you know more things that you probably even forgot about that you have endured and it comes back just to add on more stress to you you know and it's just like if you're a high functioning anxiety person you know you have to constantly deal with things where you're over analyzing things you know you can be sitting up here sending a text to somebody then it takes them too long to text back then you start stressing yourself out you know and it's all different things you know it's just it, it's just a lot it's just a lot because it's like um being that type of person you have the gift and it's just sometimes it can be shocking to you like let me let me let this settle in i'm this 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 and this and that you know because there's a lot of times where it's like it feels like I'm like that empath Rolodex and it's like people I connect with and I'm just like oh well universe told me to tell you you know that you're gonna find out you're this this and this and this and that and you're having this duty and they're like wait a minute wait a minute what <laughs> you know you tell somebody oh you're a conduit you're 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 this empath that is a sorcerer on top of a shaman or you know some kind of crazy off the wall stuff that is already enough to bring somebody stress you know and it's just like you know you're going through things where it feels like you can congratulate yourself you're starting to see things for what they truly are you're understanding your gift and the purpose that you have to go through all these different you know situations you know it's just like all the things that even the the characteristics that fit in all these psychic attacks that you have spiritual attacks that's what i meant to say you know like with me i'll be telling y'all about all these you know the rash is finally clearing up <coughs> you know from ascension but it leaves these little marks on me so it's just like i'm healing and all that stuff but it's like being stressed out is enough you know uh losing weight gaining weight you know appetites have changed sleep patterns unchanged you're constantly having crazy dreams you know you're trying to sit up here and fill, fill out or even you know just try to stay above water with your soul mission because a lot of this stuff is like mentally and emotionally and especially spiritually draining you know so for you to have to always go through stuff like this but knowing you know if you have endured a lot of trauma and it was like those past traumas just constantly keep coming up and constantly keep coming up like keep calling them you know you know <laughs> past vomit you know it's just like that burp that you come up and it's like that wet one you're just like ugh, you know and that's what that you know that past 
the past memories, the traumatic memories you've been through, that's what it tastes like. It's not something that you want to keep in the back of your throat. It's just like, no, you know, you're going through all these different things to serve a purpose in your life. You know, a lot of things that's been placed in your life. I know there's probably some times you have sat there and cried and just trying to make sense of everything that you're going through. You're probably currently going through or the things that has, in, you know, you know, happened in your life a while back that keeps coming up and resurfacing for those, you know, like fresh new wounds to be opened up for you. And it's not, that's not what that's, that purpose is for. Like I tell people, when your past memories are coming up, you have to allow, allow that to come up, but allow yourself to let it set free. Because that's the reason why it's coming up. Because it would be something you probably weren't even thinking about. And all of it came, all of a sudden it came up. This is not for universe to be uh, punishing you. You know, sometimes if you keep focusing on that, that's just nothing but the devil will want you to do that. But if there's past memories that are coming up, especially with all these different shows, you know, there's the full moon. So it's making you, you know, detach yourself from all the things that is no longer serving you and is detaching you away from things that is like stunning your blessing, stunning your growth has, you know, is messing you up on your journey as well as your path. You know, so those are the things we have to detach ourselves from, you know, um, being able to heal ourselves in more ways than we, you know, truly were even felt like we were capable of doing, you know, we have had to go through all these different things for us to be that genuine storyteller be able to allow people to know the things you endured and over the things that you're you're helping yourself heal in many ways because I mean I, I mean I'm so proud of a lot of y'all that you know have been able to share your stuff with me and you know and I even though when you might not feel like you're you're getting ahead of the game with yours you know you have because I mean there's so many times I've had one-on-ones I had like empath counseling uh with different people that are letting me know Rosalind these are the things I endured these are the things that is currently going on these are the things that I felt like I belong to in certain labels even though we don't like certain labels it's like we fit in certain so many different categories like I tell people we are multi-gifted so you have like about five or six gifts on top of that one that you only thought you were gifted with because there's a lot of times when <laughs> I don't sit up here and told people stuff and they didn't even allow you know they didn't open that up to me and it's just like wow you you know, a lot of certain, certain things is, you know, draw me towards that path or towards these certain things that it is wanting me to read up on. You know, some people didn't even realize, you know, they were that type of person that loves nature, you know, connects with animals in so many different ways, feel like that that's when they get their, you know, their information is when they're out you know, watching the sky or, you know, out there in nature, you know, barefooted and, you know, grounding themselves, you know, those, you know, with white witches or gray witches, whatever you want to call it, or, you know, Wiccans or pagans, you know, go through all those different things, be able to be blessed with all these, even though sometimes they might seem like a curse, you know, and it's, it's sad when you have some Christians that, you know, are empaths and they feel like, you know, if I open myself up to this, am I sinning towards God? No, you're not. You know, and, you know, there's people that are Christians and they're empaths as well. And God was also an empath itself. You know, he was an indigo. So it's just a lot of things, you know, God has gifted us with, even though some people are, you know, Bible thumpers, I call them Bible thumpers, that are, you know, they, they call themselves Christians, but they're insulting people. They're judging people. That's not God-like. You know, I'm, I'm just like, how? What, what kind of Christian are you? And what are you trying to preach somebody has somebody to follow to? Because it's like God is the only one who can judge people. For number one, God is the only one who can judge people. You know, um, if you call yourself a Christian, if you're trying to help somebody, don't help them by insulting them. You know, I really feel that way. Don't help them by insulting them because that is not Christian like judging somebody because they sin differently than you do. You know, I just don't have time for folks like that. But and I came across plenty of them. And then I also came across beautiful Christians that, you know, want to learn that empathic side, you know, not trying to sit up here and clash with their spirituality, but well be able to deal with this as well. So it's just like all the things that you're going through, it's going to be worth it at the end. You know, you're being able to endure a lot of things that many didn't make it for. So it's just like a lot of folks that we, we hear about that is, you know, committing suicide and doing all these crazy things because it's like they're feeling all the things we're feeling. Because there are so many empaths that I know, and it's sadly, 
that is like when I come across them, either they are taken out or either they committed suicide. You know, some of them were used as an example. Nipsey Hussle. Uh, Brittany Murphy was one. Uh, uh, Debbie Constantino, the one I, I did a, a video about. from uh, She was from Ghost Adventures. She was one. Um, Triple X Estension, whatever his name is, uh, that rapper that had the color hair. He was one. Uh, it's just a lot of people that are, you know, being taken out, and it's sad, but it's just like it has to happen that way, or some of them has had a deal where they were supposed to be on earth, do their duty, and it's time for them to go. It's kind of like the highway to heaven issue. If you anybody ever heard of highway to heaven with Michael Landon, and I forgot what the other guy's name is, they posted, both, both have passed on, you know, uh, God rest their soul. You know, it's kind of like that mission. They're helping other people find the God in them, find the goodness and the love and happiness in them. And then they're trying to head their way up back up to heaven. You know, one another empath, Keanu Reeves. Oh, my God, God bless us. So that man, I've been through so much and still will give you the shirt off his back as long as you let him keep his underwear. You know, and I hear so many beautiful things about that man that he has done. I mean, that's how I want to be one day. You know, just being able to do so many things, but that man has endured so much pain as well. And it's just like all the things we're doing, we're on this mission, finding out about ourselves as that spiritual conduit for all the blessings and love that we have to, you know, push out, but as well as dealing with our dark side, you know, being able to embrace the things that has been placed upon us to break us in so many different ways, but it has not. You know, um, and I know it's hard to be able to deal with certain things like that and trying to heal from because it's like you're trying to let go and move on. But it's just like those certain things keep pulling you back. And that means you need to heal in different ways. I, I feel that as well at times when there's certain things I have to deal with, you know, um, certain things will come up in my mind. And it'll break me down, you know, and it's just like you, you have to be able to heal your heart in so many ways. It's like, yes, you been through some traumatizing things that some people would have either murdered themselves or murdered the people that caused it but you did neither one even though you try to kill yourself a couple of times it didn't work <laughs> so it's just like all these things I know I'm serving a purpose I used to always say you know dad well I didn't die today so obviously you know God has a purpose for me because I've not had too many near-death experiences and died and came back a couple of times you know and being able to do these videos, like I say all the time, I know you're probably tired of hearing it if you've been with me for a while, but I keep saying it. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Even the negative people that want to, you know, throw, you know, BS at me. I love them as well because it's just like, you know, hopefully that one day you'll be able to see the things and why I did the way I did it. You know, why I had to go through the things I had to go through. Why I had to be able to be that open book to tell y'all the things that, you know, <laughs> really anybody else probably would have kept to themselves because they were worried about how people would have took them. What would people say? You know, I can't think about stuff like that. I'm on a mission where, like they say, you know, it's like the messenger, the Allegua. You know, you're you're being able to endure so many things, but you, you have to be able to preach your little gospel of the, <laughs> the issues that you have and hoping that will help somebody seek comfort and make sense of the things that they're going through to know that they're not on this this journey alone knowing you know even though sometimes we feel like we're by ourselves we are actually not by ourselves you know we have our angels we have our spirit guides we have our archangels um if you're a twin flame you have them supporting you as well you know whether they've passed on or whether they have not you know, all these different things, it can be a blessing, you know, but sometimes we feel like it's a curse. It, it can feel that way, but, you know, everything has its fine print to it. You know, you can't be able to take the good without not having a dark side to it as well. So it's just like a journey within itself, being able to heal from all those things. But no, trust and believe you're going to finally get to that point where you can look back and see all the pain, the tears, the blood that his, you know, that you have sacrificed was worth that because it allowed you to know yourself on so many different levels and so many different directions. Being able to see the com capability of the things that you were willing to go for, for what you truly wanted. Being able to express love in ways that you never thought you would be able to because you knew what it felt like to not have that, that lack that. So you're going to try to push that out as much as you can. 
So allow yourself to heal in many different ways. Allow yourself to keep pushing forward because you know that at the end of the day, you will get paid, repaid in kind. And it's just like, I know you're not doing it for a selfish reason, but you're doing it for a selfless one. You know, it's sometimes the toughest ones have to go through the most trauma. So allow yourself to know that you are strong inside and out. You know, never be scared of what you can't see because you know, you're not going to be, you know, there's times where I get, I cry and I get upset because I feel like I'm doing things alone. I have to understand this is God's work. This is God's way of doing things. Yeah, they might have bring people that will hurt you and try to break you down each and every way, but trust and believe they're going to have their karma as well. When you're getting served in blessings and karma, you know, as repaid in kind, they're going to be getting their blessings on the same thing they dished out to you. They will have it come back to them in many different ways. And they're going to know the reason why these things have happened to them. So I hope you are able to uh, resonate with the content of this video. It's about to be 16 minutes long, so I already know it's going to take two days just for this mess to upload. But drop me a line. <laughs> like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You know, give me a thumbs up. Even share. Now I'll see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. And be wild.